Hey everyone, today we're going to show you the interfaces and menus of the game. As you can see, we have four basic menus in the game right now. These menus are for world building manually, since the gameplay is in other part of Multiverse Designer. Starting we have the top menu, where you can change light presets. The bottom menu, with the toolbox for creating and editing worlds. The left menu to place any object in the world. And the top right options. Starting with the options, by clicking on it you can see that new tab open with many other icons and configurations such as field of view and the time of the scene. By clicking on the create and edit environments we can change textures. I will show you in details in its own video. In the same options you can access the create and edit light tab where you can create lights and weather for your scenes. Using the top menu, you can access the light presets that you've made and change them quickly. Using the settings option on the bottom of the tab you can access the graphics and configurations. You can also save and load any map and world that you've made. For example, let me load one for you guys. This way you can quickly change the scenes as you like. By using the bottom menu, you can access the item's proprieties and change the assets to suit your need. Using the exclamation point when the object is selected you can change dimensions of it to create entirely new ones. Now, let's go back to the dungeon so we can showcase better the left menu. For now, we have 10 icons to help you navigate in the assets menu, I will take a quick look in each one of them. The first one is buildings where you can find complete structures such as castles and houses. The second is architecture, where you can find house parts like pillars, walls, floors, and roofs. In the effects you can find magic and sparks, but here you will find the cameras and the lights too. In the creatures tabs, you can find a huge variety of characters, NPCs, monsters, and animals to use. Next in line are props, they are used as details to make better compositions in our scenes, like statues, graves, jewelry, vases, bar reels, and torches. Here we have the nature tab, where you can find trees, terrains, rocks, woods, ice, and even alternate skies. In the furniture you can find chairs, tables, chests, drapes, beds, rugs, and many other items. We have the food tab, where you can find fruits, breads, complete meals, and beverages. And we have the arsenal, with many weapons and armors, here you can find items for your forge and shields, sword and arrows. Lastly we have the tag tab, where you can click on the tags to filter all the asset in the game. This way you can easily access any item of the game in a few clicks. Or if you prefer, you can search using the upper magnifying glass. And that's it for today. In the next video we will show you the editing tools and the ways you can manipulate any object in the game. See you all in the next video.